In this video, we will discuss the transnasal endoscopy procedure, also known as the TNE procedure. We're happy you're here. This procedure is a safe alternative to the more traditional type of endoscopy that goes through the mouth and requires you to have anesthesia or sleepy medicine. A transnasal endoscopy is when your doctor uses a long tube with a camera at the tip to go through your nose. After passing through the nose, they are able to see what's happening in your esophagus, stomach, and sometimes the intestines. The tube will go up your nose and gently slide down into your throat. We make sure to numb both your nose and throat beforehand. Some kids say it feels like pressure or pushing, but you should not feel much at all. This procedure may not be what you are used to, particularly if you've had the standard EGDs in the past, but many children actually prefer the TNE. On the day of your TNE procedure, you'll go to your doctor's office, not an operating room, with a parent or guardian. You can eat up until two hours before the procedure, although some patients feel better if they avoid eating solid foods on the morning of their procedure. When you arrive at the hospital, you will meet with your doctor in a regular clinic room. When you get to the room, the doctor will talk to you and your parents about what will happen and will have you or your parents sign some papers agreeing to do the procedure. A child life specialist will talk with you about the steps of the procedure and what you may see, hear, or feel. Many patients have found that holding a hand, squeezing a stress ball, or using a virtual reality device is helpful during the procedure. Child Life has these items available and will guide you on how to use our VR device. It is helpful if you've picked a YouTube video to watch, at least 20 minutes long, before the procedure. After feeling comfortable with the VR equipment, you will go to a different room with a special chair. The doctor will put some medicine into your nose and have you gargle the same medicine in your throat to help numb those areas. The medicine might make your nose and throat feel different or even lumpy. This is totally normal. Next, you'll put on the VR goggles and start the video. Once the goggles are on, the doctor, with an assistant beside him, will take a tiny tube with the camera on the end and put it through your nose to the back of your throat. This tube is long but very small, smaller than a thin pencil. The tube is passed and you will be asked to swallow as it is passed into the esophagus. Then they use a tool to take teeny tiny pieces of tissue, smaller than the tip of a pen. Most people do not feel anything, but some may feel a small tug. When they're all done, they quickly pull the scope out and you're all finished. The whole thing takes about 10 to 15 minutes or less and you're usually only at the hospital for about an hour. Many kids who have a nasal endoscopy can go right back to their daily activities when they're done. You might have a sore nose or throat, but it should go away quickly. You can usually begin to eat about 30 to 60 minutes after the endoscopy when your throat feels normal again. Most kids do great with this procedure, but it is important to speak to your doctor if you have any questions. Kids can have many different feelings during a procedure. You may want to laugh, cry, or hold someone's hand. The medical team is here to listen and will take great care of you. And that's the TNE procedure. If you have any questions, please reach out to your doctor who would be happy to answer them.